Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making some St. Lucian saltfish dal pies and this one is a requested recipe. If you guys would like to see how this is made, keep watching and also remember to hit that bell to be subscribed for my latest videos. So guys, to start this recipe, I'm trying to break this down as easy as possible for you all. Here I already have some split peas or dal that's been boiled in some water. No salt necessary, we'll add salt after. So once the dal is boiled and it's very soft, you can squish it between your fingers. You're going to drain it, set it aside to cool down. Now that the dal has cooled down, I'm going to go ahead and place this into my food processor. Okay, once you have your dal blended, empty it into a bowl and you are So to a skillet on medium heat, I'm going to go in with some CGA garlic infused coconut oil. Once the oil is nice and hot, we're going to go in with some chopped onions and you want to finely chop everything guys. In goes one pimento pepper finely chopped no, and some no. scallions finely chopped also known as saif in Trinidad. And we're going to give that a mix. I just want to soften the onion before we add in our garlic. Season with a little bit of salt. And mix that in. Once the onion starts to get tender, then you'll go in with your minced garlic. And saute until very fragrant and tender. Okay, so once those aromatics are very tender, go in with your cooked saltfish or salted cod. Oh, no. And give that a mix. No. No. So just allow this to cook for about one minute. Add your cooked saltfish mixture to your brine dal. Okay, so to this I'm going to add in some green seasoning. I'm going to add in some jeera powder Whoa. and a little pinch of turmeric or we call it no, saffron no, powder no. in the islands and give it a mix. Yes, yes. Run, run, run. Sorry. Okay, so I just tasted this. Guys, it tastes amazing. If you love saltfish, you're going to love this recipe. So set this aside. Let's work on the dough. So here I have all purpose flour and to that I'm going to go in with baking powder and I'm also going to go in with yeast and I love using the combination. So give this a mix and we're going to knead this with some lukewarm water. So when you're making your dough, mix everything properly, add in some water don't add all at the same time you want to add a little and using your oh, hands no. start bringing Mommy, it together look. once it feels like Daddy, it's coming Daddy. together Daddy. add water to the, the other set of dry flour and continue to mix Mommy. to bring together and you guys see how i'm just bringing it together squeezing it and bringing it together i did small portions like little bit little bit and then now i'm going to start to bring all of those portions together into one dough ball and my dough is not very hard and it's not very soft it has a very nice medium consistency mommy give you the dough just now okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to continue kneading this for about Whoa, five tea. to eight minutes until it's nice mm. and smooth. Roti. You want roti? Okay, mommy give you roti. When you have a nice a smooth dough, drizzle a little bit of oil on it. Turn it over into the bowl. This is just to help prevent it from getting a skin. Cover it with a damp paper towel and allow it to rest for about 10 minutes. After the dough has finished resting, we're going to start to break it into small dough balls. Look how nice and soft my dough is. Not hard at all and not soft where it's very sticky. So I'm just placing this between my index finger and my thumb. And I'm going to break the dough balls to the size that I like it. So this is about a 
3 inch dobo you can make it as big or as small as you want once you've made out the dough balls, cover it with your damp paper towel and let it rest for about two minutes. Okay, after your dough has finished resting, you're going to take one dough ball at a time and you're going to open out your dough ball. Try to open, open it out evenly. You're gonna create that little pocket and then you're gonna take some of your filling and you're going to place the filling in the center and press it down Wait to fry. so you're going to press this down and bring up the ends and pinch to close you can use a fork if you want it to to squeeze the ends and make sure it seals this is the way I like to make my pies and then spread it out a little bit just like this and then you have one pie done so you just want to sprinkle a little bit of flour on your work surface so that when you put your pies down they don't stick now that the pies are filled we're gonna fry these on a medium low heat I'm shallow frying them guys now my pies are made really thin so it's not going to take very long to cook, so just place them in the hot oil and we're going to allow them to cook and get a nice golden color. Once your pies have a really beautiful golden color, take them out and drain them on some paper towels. So guys, the pies are done. What I'm going to do is break into one so you guys can see what it looks like on the inside that smells so good wow look at that mm, i can smell the salt fish it smells really good guys so so good i'm gonna give it a taste mm -hmm. mm, really delicious i'm getting that's so fish flavor in there it's very pronounced guys these pies are nice and light and airy and if you look it's not very thick so once you press out your dough really thin you'll get a really nice thin pie i hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe thank you to sabrine for requesting this this is a st lucian recipe and i've had it before when i visited st lucia and it's something that I've always wanted to make but just never gotten around to making it but because Sabrina requested it I decided to do it for you all so thank you guys so much for watching today please remember to stay home and stay safe and I'll see you in my next video please remember to like share and subscribe guys love you bye